Hello everyone and welcome to my occasional series Throwback Thursday. Now in a Throwback Thursday video I'll be featuring a vacuum cleaner you've seen before, maybe not for quite some years though. This unboxing was first shown in June 2013 on a 380p quality. So now I've got 4K I thought I'd do it again. Now the first one I unboxed and did a demonstration of again in pretty poor quality video I sold that machine and after a while I, I kind of regretted selling it. Only last week I was thinking about this machine and, and thinking oh I hope another one turns up and lo and behold amazingly within a few days of me thinking about getting one of these again it turned up on eBay again from the same seller and I won the auction. So I'm keeping this one. Now if, you, if you've watched my earlier video on this, you might remember the box had quite a few visitors. I think there's the odd spider, spider's web. The box in this one looks a little bit better condition wise. This is a Vax HF1400. I'm definitely not getting rid of this because it's quite an unusual Vax machine. It's an upright vacuum cleaner that can be converted to carpet washing. It's pretty unique. So let's get out all the bits and pieces. They will have some wear, well, sort of storage wear. Yes, I think there has been some spiders in here. So this is the washing hose. This is the hose you only use when you're using the machine as a carpet washer. It contains the solution tube built inside. I don't know why they don't do that with the current Vax tub machine. And you've got your trigger here as well. So there's that. What else can we get out? Let's open this. I hope it's not damaged. Right, so far so good anyway. Here's the main washing head. And yeah, that's okay. I prefer this style of washing head to the one that uh, is currently um, supplied with the Vax Orange tub machine. This is more of the traditional style head. This is your washing plate. And you need this, this slides on, you need this to prime the solution, it doesn't have a pump. It uses a combination of gravity and the suction of the cleaner to pull the solution through. But to start it going, you block off the suction with this washing plate until the solution starts to flow. And then you take the washing plate off and wash your carpets. Yes, we've got a few, a few visitors have been living in this box. Here we have an original Vax Carpet Care Shampoo. Pretty old. I don't know if it's sealed or it isn't sealed. I'll give it a sniff. Oh, that's nostalgic. But I won't be using this old stuff when I do a demo. I've just bought some brand new Vax solution, which I'll use in this cleaner. We have a... Uh, a little questionnaire and a guarantee to send off to Lisa Goodwin, Lisa Goodwin at Vax Customer Care Division in Droitwich. This is made in the UK as well, by the way. And here we have the easy guide for the HF 1300 and the HF 1400, which I believe this is the 1400. I'm not sure of the difference between the two models. So I'll look at this instruction book a bit closer, but it's all pictures more or less, isn't it? mainly. There's that. Right. Inside this box. Uh, this is the solution tanks. The, the clean and dirty water tanks. So this is the dirty water tank that fits onto the back of the cleaner when you're using it as a carpet washer and you actually put the suction hose into this part here, you can see that there is a little filter, just a little sort of sponge filter. And then 
There's also a float valve which will cut the suction off when the recovery tank is full. So that screws onto there and this is where you attach the hose and I'm assuming that's also where you empty it. So that looks fine and this is the clean water tank. So basically you fill this with warm water and solution and then that fits on top of the dirty tank. Of course I'll show you all this and I'll be demoing this properly as well. There is a date wheel on here. It's dated May 1998. So there's those two bits. So far so good. Don't think, I'm not sure, I don't think this comes with a, a small washing head. Now, unlike the Vax tub machine, we only get one long extension wand with this. Again, this is meant just for washing and it's actually also got the tube built in. It's just located inside here. So this is part of the solution tube that connects to the handle. I think that's the handle end. And then this end will go into the washing nozzle. It's a little bit, a little bit sticky. <clears throat> right, everything's fine so far. Let's hope that the, the machine, which is fully assembled, which explains the huge box this comes in. Carefully lift it out. There we go. I think that's everything. Okay. Right. I'll take all the packaging off this, get rid of the cardboard boxes, and we'll have a closer look at the cleaner itself. Well, here's the full ensemble out of the box. I've checked everything over off camera and uh, fingers crossed, everything seems perfectly fine with this cleaner. Um, really, really happy with it. Okay, let's take a closer look at the vacuum itself. This machine is very reminiscent to the Electrolux Contour, very similar styling with the hose on the back. It's got the adjustable height control in the middle here. This one also has variable electronic speed control and a bag check indicator. Right, before we look at uh, the cleaner, we'll have a look at the underside. So here's the underside of the Vax HF1400. We've got, uh, oh, that sounds a bit odd. We've got a brush roll with quite long brushes, but fairly soft. It's got little edge brushes as well, so it should clean quite close to the edge. That does sound a little bit dodgy. This does take belts. In fact, it might take two belts because from what I remember, when you've got the machine in the upright position, the brush roll stops turning. So it doesn't have two motors, but it uses some sort of a clutch system, I believe. You've got the two wheels here that move up and down according to the height selected on the control dial, the height height to height control dial. So yeah, not a lot to see, pretty standard fare. So here's the rating sticker, there's a Vax Care line. It's model 41010, 230 volts, 50 hertz, 1400 watts, and it looks like the serial number is 00014143. On the back of the cleaner, we can see the onboard tools and hose. So here we have a two-in-one tool. So this is quite a large dusting brush with medium soft brushes. And I believe underneath the brushes, if we can separate them, we have your upholstery or stair nozzle with much stiffer brushes just at the front there which may help dislodge pet hair so that fits just on the back there it does stick out rather a lot underneath that nozzle we have quite a short crevice tool and then we also have 
extension ones, two extension ones that nest into each other to make, well, not a very long one, but uh, long enough, I expect. I believe for my first, one of my first demos of this, the stair hose, although it didn't look very long, it does actually reach up a standard flight of stairs. In fact, it was more than long enough to reach up a standard flight of stairs. So if we remove this end, hang on. Oh, it doesn't have a, there's no handle on it. I can't remember it being like that. It must have been. But this is a very stretchy hose. You can see from sort of one centimeter becomes about 15 centimeters. It really is very, very stretchy. So yes, I can confirm that will reach up a standard flight of 13 stairs. That fits into there. And on the other side, we've got a see-through elbow, which will help show you if there's any blockages. That's probably where any blockage would occur. I think you can remove that, but I think I need to gain access to a little clip inside the bag compartment to remove that. But I'll have a look at that in a minute. Further up, we've got this combined carry handle and lower cord hook. And at the top here, we've got the upper cord hook, which you can rotate to release the cord in one go. It seems to be a pretty decent length of cord. You've also got a nice little clip there, a little orange clip to secure the cable and the plug end to the cable so it doesn't come unraveled. And we also have if I can remember how to get it out, the spill pickup tool, which you can actually buy. I've seen on Vax's website. I think you can buy this to fit other Vax cleaners. You can actually use this with dry only vacuums because it's like a mini spill pickup. It'll only pick up a tiny amount of liquid. I think it was 300 milliliters from what I remember but there is a fill line here. This is ideal for just picking up the odd spilt drink. But of course, you'd still have to remove the rest of the stain with some sort of spray stain remover. So this would get most of the moisture out, but it won't actually wash the carpet. You'd have to connect, of course, the main washing tool. There's a little filter inside there. I think this all comes apart. Oh yes, you press this button. It's all coming back to me. Press that button. There's no sort of float valve or anything here, no mini float valve. That just comes out for rinsing and obviously you need to take that off to tip out the liquid. So you do have to observe the max fill line on this. So it's just, it's always on board so you can use it with the machine in upright mode. Let's just click, click the thing in. If I take the hose off, You'll see that the spill pickup tool will fit onto the hose. And then we can pop that back when we're not using it. If I can remember which way it went. Oh, it was that way. That was it. There we go. Pop the hose back. This clips in. It's fairly neat. Like that. There we go. And at the top of the handle, we've got the push button on off switch, which I believe does illuminate. On the other side of the cleaner, just above the bag door, we've got this electronic suction control. So you can alter the motor speed from a minimum suction right up to the maximum 1400 watts. Just under the bag door latch, we have a bag full indicator. To gain access to the bag, we simply press on the latch here and the bag door comes away. And then you can see the other side there of the bag check indicator. Can't see any date wheel on that. And here we have a fleecy type bag. You can still buy bags for this. This is branded Vax Arlet. And it's a reasonable size, but it seems to be, although it's a fleecy material, I think it's just a single layered bag. Inside the bag compartment, we've got this little orange maintenance tool. There's a little sticker on there to tell us what it is. Now this can be used to help unblock the cleaner just by using it sort of down here, for example. 
but it's also used to help pull the belt onto the pulley when you need to change the belt. This of course is the, the fill tube and this down here is a little collar that you pull out so you can remove the hose from the cleaner and check for any blockages. Down here is the pre-motor filter which according to the instructions needs to be replaced from time to time. It doesn't say it's washable but uh, yes it's possibly got a carbon layer which is why they say not to wash it. I'm going to see if I can get some replacements. You can buy of course bags and belts for this. I haven't seen filters so I'll have another look for that. There is an exhaust filter which is washable. That's just at the front here and that's just this black sponge so you can actually rinse that in water and dry it. That just pops down there. Pop that back and pop the maintenance tool. The maintenance tool does actually fit in here and now I can pop the bag back just a push fit. You can't put the bag door in place without a bag in position. A little latch stops you. Doesn't really seem to click into place but I think that's fairly secure and then I can just locate the bag door at the bottom first and push it at the top until it clicks in position. There we go and finally the last thing to show you on the cleaner is the height control so you'd have to tilt the machine back slightly and then you can adjust the dial according to the height of carpet or hard floor. That's the hard floor setting on its lowest setting. And then you've got short pile, medium, a longer pile and then of course for your longest pile carpets there. Before I turn the cleaner on I thought I'd show you these pattern bags I bought. I think I could still buy original ones but they were pretty pricey and these were relatively cheap. You only get three bags in this particular one. These are made by a company called Airflow. But it was interesting to see that these bags, although pattern parts, I think are identical to the bags supplied with this fax because the bag collar is exactly the same. It says Vax Arlet on it. So let me just open up and just compare. I would say that these are the same. These are identical bags. Let's just check they're the same size. Yes they are. They're the same bags. So that's good. Because as you know I do like to use original bags where possible when I'm uh, using a vacuum unless sometimes I do put newer fleece bags in a vacuum that normally would have had paper bags in and that's an improvement. So I thought that's quite interesting to see. Okay then. It's time to switch on this Vax HF 1400. Because this isn't a vintage used machine, I think I'm fairly safe to turn it on. Okay, here goes. That sounds fine to me. Obviously it was in the lowest setting on the electronic dial so I'll turn that up in a minute. I can confirm that when the machine is in the upright position the agitator does not rotate but I could hear and feel a vibration. There was actually rotation going on so it obviously rotates on a pulley until you put it into the operating position. Well that's what I'm thinking anyway. Okay I'll switch it on again and we'll turn up the speed. Well that all sounds hunky dory. I'm just going to switch it on now at full speed and just feel how powerful the suction is. I don't think this will have a soft start motor. We'll soon find out.
That's not bad suction for an upright cleaner, but don't forget that this machine uses the suction when in carpet shampoo mode, so it really has to be pretty strong. And obviously, when it gets to the end of the carpet washing nozzle, the suction will have reduced because again, it has to pass through not only this hose, but it's also got to pass through the washing hose as well. So I can't see it being more powerful than the standalone tub machine that Vax also produced at this time and still produced to this day. Okay, I'll just give it a quick push along the carpet before I show you how we convert this to carpet washing mode. And also I'll just check that the brush roll rotates. Okay, here goes. Yes, that seems to work fine. The brush roll does rotate and it's quite a nice machine to use. I think so anyway. It's a, a bit of a quirky design having this sharp angle here, but it feels nice to use. It does feel nicer to use than the similar Electrolux Contour or Airstream. It, <laughs> I know some of you won't believe this, but it does feel a little bit more solid than the Electrolux. Okay then, we've seen it as an upright cleaner. Let's see how we convert this to washing carpets. So the first thing we need to do is attach the recovery tank to the back of the upright. And on the back of the recovery tank, we've got this very strong metal bracket. We've also got two carry handles, which are useful when you take this to your sink or loo to empty out the dirty water. So this fits on, there's a little bracket here, it just hooks over. First of all, actually, we need to take the hose out. So remove the hose from its socket. And we'll also remove it from the hook at the top. So that's in place. With the hose, instead of putting it in its normal position, we need to hook it over the upper cord storage hook. And then this end of the hose fits into the inlet at the top of the recovery tank because this, of course, is what creates the suction when in carpet washing mode. And again, just like the first one I unboxed, it's a pretty loose fit. I thought it might have been faulty, but obviously this is how it is. So. I seem to remember having to move the hose along a bit so it wouldn't pop out. But that could be made a bit tighter. I suppose if you wanted to, you could put some um, tape, black tape or something around that just to give it a tighter seal. I might do that actually before the washing demo. It might help seal the suction in slightly better and prevent that from falling out. That's a bit of a shame. I would have hoped it would have been a little bit more positive fitting. But anyway, it should remain in place. Right, so that's that done. Next thing we need to do is fill this solution tank with the correct amount of solution and warm water. I'm not going to do that now. I'll do a separate carpet washing video. I'm just showing you how we connect it all together. So assuming we have the solution in, this will now just sit on the top of the recovery tank. Now we need to connect the washing hose on the inlet of the recovery bucket. Just locate it and twist it. It's a little bit stiff because it's new, but that's firmly in place. This end of the solution tube needs to go into the clean water tank. It's got a little weight at the end. So just feed that through the opening at the top. You might have to pull it through a bit to enable this to reach right at the bottom of the tank. So you're not wasting any solution. And then this orange cap fits securely on the top. It is a bit of a tight fit. I've got to push it all the way around till it clicks in. There we go, that's it. That's firmly in place. Next, we need to attach the wand to the handle with the solution tube at the back. So it's just a, a push and twist fit. 
and then the solution tube just goes into this little part here just pushes in uh, until it's nicely firmly home so there's no leaks and at the other end of the wand we can now fit the washing nozzle again push and twist and then this part of the solution tube just pushes into the top of the nozzle like that so that's it that's the vax hf 1400 set up for carpet washing now obviously if this had solution in all i'd have to do is turn the cleaner on at its maximum suction leave this washing plate on the end of the nozzle until i see the solution flowing and then i can just pull off the washing plate and start cleaning obviously the solution will only flow when you either squeeze the trigger and hold it or use this little orange lever here so front i think is on and then back it will be off i'm going to leave it in the on position actually for storage because it probably will have kinked being stored for so long so as you can see it's uh, it's a jack of all trades master of none you have the convenience of it as a regular upright cleaner for day-to-day -day use but then you've got this rather bulky affair but it's i suppose it saves people from having two products but of course the vax orange tub was sold as a three-in-one it was designed for people to use as a regular vacuum and as a carpet washer but i think a lot of people found it was a bit inconvenient to use as a regular vacuum and they only used it really for carpet washing because there was a lot to change in between you only got one set of tools you had to make sure the hose was dry after you'd used it for wet use because if you used it for dry afterwards any dry dirt you picked up could start to line the hose and make it smell so i suppose this it does have a dedicated set of tools for wet use so as soon as basically you remove all this gubbins it becomes a dry vacuum again but uh, i don't think they were very popular not very good not the first one, I think it was called the New Wave when this first came out. It was in a sort of a turquoisey colour. This, I believe, the HX 1400 was the last variation of this machine. But it's not one I would go for if you really want a carpet washer. Of course, carpet washers are much better nowadays. I'd certainly recommend an upright carpet washer with rotating brushes, which are far more uh, superior at cleaning than this type of machine. But this is what we had in the late 90s but it's not bad it's i'm really pleased to have one but as i said if you want to just remove this in fact i think the whole tank will just come off in one piece but you can still pull it along it does move along it's fairly stable it will follow you pretty small tanks though so i think there'll be frequent filling and emptying of this machine but all in all I'm pleased to have another one. It's amazing how fate worked out. Honestly, I was just thinking about this a few days ago. Then it appears on eBay and I was lucky enough to be the highest bidder. So that's it. The unboxing and first look or second look really, if you haven't seen the first video. This is the HF 1400 by Vax. You'll see further demos of this. I'll do a proper dry demo put down some dirt for carpets and floors and i'll show you cleaning up the stairs etc and then i'll do a wet demo where i dirty up some carpet and we'll see how effective this machine is if you have any comments or questions about this quirky vax please comment below and i'll see you all very soon for the next video bye for now